Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We are at our cop job. We haven't had a day off in like three weeks. We are both exhausted. This house is uh, falling apart. Special, yes. The entire ceiling is caving in. He must have been packing a wound or something because there is a large amount of like, is that paper towels? I think it's I think it's a mix between paper towels, paper napkins, towels, and, and they're TP. all bloody and they're on the floor in the living room. Um, this is pretty large because it looks like he was sitting here for a while and it ran through the grout line on the tile. But daddy, I want the golden goose. Can I have the golden goose, please? We are at our top job. We haven't had a day off in like three weeks. We are both exhausted uh, between coronavirus and- Decomps. Decomps and coronavirus. And mold. And mold and decomps. And water jobs. We're exhausted. I'm exhausted. Um, this house is- uh, Falling apart. Special, yes. The entire ceiling is caving in. He must have been packing a wound or something because there is a large amount of, like, is that paper towels? I think it's, I think it's a mix napkins between paper towels, paper napkins, towels, and, and they're TP. all bloody and they're on the floor in the living room. Um, this is pretty large because it looks like he was sitting here for a while and it ran through the grout line on the tile. Yeah. So we're removing the grout, the tile, and one of one or two walls. It, it's that true classic case of pictures don't do it justice. So when we saw the pictures after the bid was done, we were like, that's not bad. We can handle that. Um, now I'm wishing yeah. I was in Miami doing a coronavirus job because... Now I'm wishing I was on a beach with a margarita in my hand. And we actually put our two week notice in at the same time. <laughs> no, I'm not giving a two week notice. I quit. Oh, all right. Oh. Right now, I'm exhausted. I quit. <laughs> so stay tuned for this nightmare. <laughs> it's gone like your hair. It's gone like your hair. It's gone like... It's all gone. It's all gone. Hold on, hold on. Everybody is working. So I'm stuck working with this person. Oh, I hate you. First impressions are horrible, terrifying, yeah, I mean, absolutely I horrific. That's my suit, don't even touch it. <laughs> We're the same size, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to... Before I start like diving into this two week bio, just trying to pick up all the shit that's around and included in it. The guy was obviously not well. But guys, we got Maggie. Yeah. They're so friendly. You pet them. You yeah. love them. Yeah. <laughs> Holy pizza. Yummy. My glasses kept fogging up, so I had to take my glasses off. So I'm just kind of trying to readjust and figure out exactly where I need to um, start now that I've got the majority of the stuff like cleaned up and out of the way. He definitely went into the wall all the way down. My fear is because he followed the grout line, my fear is that he actually went into the other room. So we have the kitchen and we have the bathroom. So this wall, this entire wall is gonna have to come out. 
structurally the house is not sound so trying to figure out the least aggressive way to get the job done right since half of the roof or excuse me half of the ceiling is already missing so i'm gonna start with the tile um, it followed the grout really really well and so i'm actually wondering if the grout is sealed and it didn't go in and underneath the grout except up against the wall that would be a saving grace even though all of the tile has to come out we don't know any backstory on this. I know that we've been uh, we have been talking with the ex-wife. Um, she's actually devastated at the way he lived, so she didn't even want to enter the house. Um, everything here is supposed to be left to the daughter, but due to the condition of the house, they're actually just demolishing it. So we're here solely to just remove bio. Um, normally we try to make it look super pretty and you know easy for family and, and things like that to walk in on. We're gonna do the best we can today, uh, but it's kind of hard to put lipstick on a pig when uh, the ceiling is caving in and um, there's mold growth throughout. It's just kind of one of those really difficult situations. Um, construction crews won't come in here because of the amount of bio uh, that that's in here. So we have to at least get the biohazard removed before we can turn around and demolish this house. serious note, I really do love my job. Just depends on the circumstance on how much. Uh. We have some skin, we have some hair. Oh. <laughs> we can't get the tile chipper to work, so diving right in and uh, I'm tired of wasting time fucking with equipment that's not working properly, so just gonna dive right in and get it done. There's obviously some some health issues here. I've already scooted it around looking for needles and stuff, so I mean we're we're in the clear on that. Luckily, this is all dry. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There you go. Whoa. All of this bio has been here a while. So I'm just trying to sweep over it so I'm not uh, making mud. Oh my god, it's like 95 degrees right now. When I'm done here, I'm actually just gonna discard the broom tip over here. Let's go and sweep, I'm wiping up the, or sweeping up the dry blood. It's actually hard to breathe today. The humidity's up, 95 degrees. This is when we lose most of our weight, actually. So today is what could go wrong has gone wrong. Uh, I had to throw this truck together. Most everything was on here, but there are certain things that I had stocked on the other van um, that the other guys had taken even though they weren't supposed to. It's par for the course, miscommunications. So I'm just trying to piecemeal stuff together today. Okay, okay, I got it. Everybody else, it's okay. <laughs> You're so stupid. Hey, I need you to work a little harder. Laura's in there working by herself. <laughs> cause I came out here to get a dustpan, which is gone off this truck. Cause it's fucked up. We have like six others on the other truck. So I'm just gonna use a shovel. We're improvising today, so. Oh yeah, and our tile chipper decided not to work on us, so we're doing it all by hand. Hold on, I got the shovel. I got the flat shovel for that. Oh, oh thanks for joining us. Well, I'm working, sweating. Kyle is taking a union break. I'm playing with my dad. Playing with himself. But you know, the A-team is here, so I'm not too worried about it. This is the baseboard, it's full of blood. So from what I can tell, the person died right here in the kitchen and then decomposed for a couple weeks and the fluids ran down the grout. We've lifted up all the tile and the subfloor appears to be in good condition, but we are gonna take out this wall because you can see the body fluids have wicked up the wall. So we're gonna remove it, probably a 24 inch flood cup. That's not even dry, Ooh. that's mold. Mold, Ooh. 
Oh my fuck. It's mold. There you go. Now, the reason that we're doing it this way is because they're going to demolish the house when we're done, so we don't have to be careful with the cut or anything. Hammer time. Da 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 Mm. Best flood cut I've ever done. 1925, Paul. They want their heater back. We're going to give it back to them. That's Florida. I don't know why that's here. I don't get it. This is the wallpaper. This, this is, is behind the wallpaper. This is, look at the wiring on that. Oh, shit. Look at the mold. And this is why we're looking at this. I usually go behind every video. <laughs> <laughs> clean up after yours. Because the house is being demoed, and this didn't go into the into the ground line, I'm just doing a surface cleaning with uh with our part A. It's the stuff that eats up any of the biohazards. Kind of pulling a a, a Dexter here at the moment, washing away the end. This is the way we think the Do you think there's actually people, other people like me and you who actually enjoy doing this? Huh? Like who? So in a couple locations, it leaked through into the subfloor, which is Toronto. I applied the chemical to lift it up and I'm letting it sit. I just brushed it in a little bit. Same thing Kyle's doing right there. So hopefully we'll be able to lift it up pretty easily and uh, then disinfect the floor and we'll be good to go. <laughs> so all I'm doing is sealing this in. We're trying a new sealant. Spray can rather than, because of the type of job this is, rather than uh, our paint, because we're not sealing the whole floor. So I'm doing a really nice thick coat, and over the next two days, since nobody's living here, nobody's gonna come in here for the next two or three days, this will give time to dry. These things are amazing, so. They're demolishing the house, so um, unfortunately, We're just dressing up the pig right now. The customers wants to demolish the house when we're done. So normally we would have removed the base plate because um, it's contaminated. But what we did was we disinfected it and then we sealed it, which is kind of a temporary fix. And then she's gonna demolish the house anyway. So there was no real need to, uh, you know, spend a lot of hours here removing uh, something that's gonna end up being demolished anyway. So we're gonna, we're almost done here. We're gonna go around and disinfect one last time. I'd imagine they wanna come in here and just get some personal effects before they actually destroy everything. So we're almost done. It's extremely hot outside and high humidity. So we're having to take uh, more breaks than usual. And of course we're both exhausted. So it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> It is terrifying. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it guys. On to the next.